Come on, where is everybody? You are James Madison, right? This is so cool how we get to start drafting this whole constitution thing. I'm so excited. You know, Bert told me. Uh, George, you have to turn on your camera and mic. George, you have to unmute yourself. Well, Martha, I can't help you with your foot cream because I have this meeting and I can't get this dang technology to work. It's working now. This is me too. I helped to I to the declaration and that was a success. Franklin, you're here too? Yeah. I'm here and I am Ben, wake up. We have a document to write. Are you gonna put a charge on my problem this one too? Smaller there's two more We're not allowed to talk about that. Wait. I don't see Sherman on this chat. Scroll down, George. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, wait, now he's gone. Oh, okay, I think we need a leader here. George Washington. He helped lead the Continental Army and is the second best thing to happen to this country. Thanks, son. Oh, Washington should be our leader. I gratefully accept. Now, let's take roll. Twelve delegations later. Virginia? Me? Check. Madison? President, with my own plan, and while we were originally going to revise the articles, I think we should just yeet them out and create a new document where... Check. George Mason. Mason? 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 I don't see him. On the calendar, it says he's a maybe. Okay, let's get down to business. Thomas Jefferson cannot be here because he is kicking something as the ambassador to France. Huh. I've been there. Anyway, he wishes us all good luck and begs us to use the same font type and size. Old Comic Sans, size 36. Times New Roman, size 12. Anyway, fellow fellows, let's start drafting this country. Okay, so I studied a bunch of previous governments like the Greeks, and, and the best time is, okay, George Mason is typing his own stuff on the doc, and he's not even in the chat. Let me, let me delete this. Hey, hey, why did you delete my stuff? States rights, this is what the people want. This is what Jefferson wants. Let's start with how the government will work. Okay, before anyone writes anything, I think it should be based on the population of the states, but that way. Okay, who was writing that representative should be equal for all states? It looks like the people from New Jersey. Well, they have a point. <laughs> Or, hear me out. Now, what about something like the British monarchy where people will have absolute power? Now, I know this might sound a little crazy, but let me present this six hour slide presentation I have. No, 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 no. Who the F is this? I have a better idea. Why don't we have a bicameral legislator where one house is based on the population and the other house has equal representatives from each state? Okay, okay. but does slaves count as part of your state's population when counting representatives? Are you gonna treat them like decent human beings? Slavery. Yeah. Okay, Sherman, you are the master compromiser. Why don't you come up with a plan? 
Okay, how many of you want slaves to be continued in a census? Okay, three out of five of you want to do that. Slaves are counted as three fifths of a person. Write that down. Hamilton, why are you writing like you're running out of time? Wait, we weren't slaves. Okay, great. Let's go on to the next thing. Hamilton, what is that the background of? What? I can't honor John Lawrence, my dead friend. How do you do that? You, oh, you just... Guys, we've got a country to build. Try to find me in here. <laughs> a man can dream, right? Okay, guys, come on. What? I survived. Really, we need to. I go to the branch, and uh, this came up. Okay, can we just start writing this constitution before America turns into France and we all lose our damn heads? I think you just lost yours. Besides, France is not that bad. Thomas Jefferson is there and he's having a great time. Uh, friends, how's that woman? I had a good old good time then. Okay, whatever. So I think the country needs a leader that will work with a legislator. Great. So I think that position should be a lifetime. No. No. Oh, no. Oh. Here, four years, but then they can get reelected. Besides, four years is such a long time. So how many terms? We can let the future decide, but I bet after eight years, the double get exhausting. And with the power to veto any of any one of the Congress's laws. Too much power for one person to shut down an entire law. That's an oxymoron. Let's put it in there. So what are the requirements for this executive chief? Well, since this person will lead an entire country, they need to be old, I mean, experienced. So let's go with the ripe old age of 35. And they have to be an American citizen for at least 14 years. This way they know all about the country, but it's still okay to be a French citizen as a team. And they have to be a natural born citizen because we don't want some immigrant control in the country. Ha! That can't stop me. I'll find a bez better reason for not being president. Just you wait. Okay, finally, the courts. How about having an odd number of judges and the president will point each one and the Senate will say, okay. It will be like his cabinet, maybe, but. Uh... Okay there, Madison. <sighs> Trying to keep the system balanced. Trying to keep the systems in balance, but I'm not sure how long the judges can serve. Lifetime, like a reigning monarch, except their children don't take over. Win one. Really, Hamilton? We just fought not to have a monarchy, and here you are. Okay, actually, Ham has a point. Say what? After reading over the judges section, they don't do that much. Let's give them a lifetime term so maybe they don't so maybe they can accomplish something. Okay, one more thing. I'm a bit hesitant about this whole election process. Just that well, um, you see, it's just that because most Americans can't read and can we trust them to elect a president or a senator? I mean, a House member is okay since they are local, but they maybe we could just place them leading on a large scale. I have to turn up my volume just to hear that. What do you mean? We already have white landowning male adults voting. Isn't that enough? 
Yeah, but most of them don't really have access to the knowledge of most of the candidates. So they will still vote, and each state gets their own number of electors based on how many congressmen they have. And each elector will cast their ballot based on the state's popular vote, or who seems the best fit. Besides, if one candidate gets more popular votes and another gets more electoral votes, will we just let the Congress deal with it? What? Yeah, I see your what? point. I guess it will prevent crazy people who don't know much about politics from getting elected. Fine, I'll agree to that. Great. I believe that's it. The document looks good, except for that comma in the middle of a phrase. Glad I caught that because that would change the meaning of this. And if we need to add any more, then we can just add amendments. Are you ready to sign? Wait, that's it? What about states' rights? We tried states' rights with the cluster articles, but that was a cluster mess. Well, I guess we could just make a bill of rights that we could use. What about now? This is all too government-based. What about the people? <sighs> like what, maybe? I, I can't believe that. Ugh. George, are you sure this is really necessary? <clears throat> you, you know what, George? That's it. I'm leaving. You heard me. I would rather chop off my right hand than sign this constitution. Good luck trying to get the citizens to agree with this mess of a government paper anyway. Yes, somebody's not being tagged in the painting. And you say, I overreact a lot? You do. Mason does have a point. How will we convince the citizens to agree with this? I know one thing for sure, men are not angels. Yeah, even Jefferson is not a big fan of all this federal government stuff. I'm starting to really despise this Jefferson guy. Wait, I have an idea. What if I wrote some anonymous essays defending the Constitution? It may take some time, but it will be worth it. I will start writing some now. And maybe I can get this one guy, John Jay, to help me. I'll help you too. I still have a bunch of ideas that I have not shared yet. Maybe we can have a total of 25 essays divided, divided evenly among the three of us. It was okay. I actually, I just emailed you. 25 in total? I was going to write at least 35. How can you divide 25 by 3? There'll be a remainder. Oh, yeah, I'm too exhausted to do math. I agree. Let's just sign this before we all fall asleep, like Ben Franklin. Say it, say it again. He's been asleep this entire meeting. No. For part of me, and he started watching uh, was, season three, episode 15 of The Office. He gave me his Netflix password. Okay, let's just be on the dock and sign this together. Ready on a count of three, two, one. Oh, come on!